Masks will still be required in schools all across California. State health officials gave this update as the statewide indoor mask mandate ends tomorrow. Crown Force Ashley Zavala explains what the state's top health officials are saying. Today, a change isn't being made. But as California prepares to drop its indoor mask mandate, the state's Health and Human Services Secretary, Dr. Mark Galley, confirmed Monday masks will still be required in schools for now. Galley said state leaders will reassess the requirement in two weeks on February 28th, keeping an eye on vaccination rates and COVID-19 conditions to decide how to move forward. Galley did not say if there's a specific benchmark state leaders want to reach before dropping masks in schools. Parents should not hear that we aren't making a move. We are taking a little bit more time to consider the information, work with our partners across the state to make sure when the move is made that we are do doing it successfully. Galley's update comes as COVID-19 cases, hospitalizations, and the state's positivity rate plummet over the last month. Burrow. It also comes a day after Los Angeles hosted the Super Bowl, which provided numerous images of celebrities and politicians maskless at the mega sporting event with more than 70,000 people. After Galley's update, California Republican Party Chairwoman Jessica Milan Patterson tweeting in part, this is an absolute disgrace with our children as the victims. There's a thousand. Governor Newsom said last week, teachers unions have asked for a little more time before the state drops its school mask mandate. I think that's responsible and I respect that. Um, but we also are on date with destiny. We recognize uh, that uh, we want to turn the page on status quo. The California Teachers Association in a statement Monday said in part, we support the administration's decision to pause and gather more information to make a science-based decision on school masking that responds to this moment in the pandemic. We recognize that any changes will disrupt and destabilize school communities. As much as we all want this pandemic to be over, we are not out of the woods yet. That was Ashley Zavala reporting for us tonight.